for the serious gamer. Hey, it's Spider Bot from Next Gen Tactics coming back at you with some Dead Rising 2 K Zero. And uh we finished uh getting the bike or part of the bike uh back to um the store here. And uh we're actually gonna build another weapon. This is a weapon you can actually buy in the pawn shop, and we'll see later where the pawn shop is, but we've played through this already, so we can grab the bucket. Which uh, you can use as a weapon, and then we have the drill, which you can use to uh, build things. So let's go over to the workbench and see what we can come up with. Because I think we can come up with something pretty cool. Don't you? <clears throat> Alright, place that on, press B with the drill. You go, MacGyver. Get that duct tape working. Nice, nice. What do we got? What do we got? Oh yeah, hell yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that thing. Did you see it? It's like a bucket with three drills hanging off of it. What do you think that's gonna do? <laughs> I had a pretty good idea, but you know, I'll wait until I'll wait until I actually use it and then you guys can see. So actually I grabbed a drink, so I'm gonna go and grab some food. Always good to uh, bring some food with you when you go out into the zombies because uh, you know, if they grab a hold of you and start to attack you and you lose health, well you might want to have a little snack and you know improve on your healthness. So we're gonna run right out to the street here and uh, the main drag here in Still Creek and see what we will see. I'll show you that bucket weapon. It's kind of neat. But for the most part, I mean the um, the bat with the nails in it. That's uh, it's a pretty cool weapon. It actually clears out a lot of zombies. Oh, so what's going on? Hey, zombies! Oh, what's that? Wow, that's one massive freaking bee, man. You're just gonna. Man, you're lucky you didn't get stung. Now what? What the hell's going on here? Oh no, a zombies, he's gonna step in the bee. Oh no! Oh, that's weird. What the hell? Oh, nice. What the hell's happening to your head? So you stomp on a bee and all their heads pop off? Interesting. I think I actually asked uh, one of our, our live streamers what that was all about, and I think it goes back to the first Dead Rising. Something about the queen bees uh, actually infecting the people and turning them into zombies, and when you kill the queen bee, then the zombies or nearby zombies die? I don't know. I thought it was like the, the zombies that it infected died, but that wouldn't necessarily mean the ones that are nearby. So, I don't know. Anyways, look, there's a guy uh, up here on the top of the van. What's going on, buddy? Hey buddy, can you help me out? The, the, one, the one other thing I don't really like about this game is that when you go and talk to people, like, how come they can't just talk? You gotta read what they're saying. Like, I don't understand. I mean, this is like... I, I don't know. You know, like... Don't they have, like... You know, I guess maybe it's a low-budget game. They don't have... Uh, they don't have the budget for voice actors. <laughs> You know, they could just get some employee of the freaking studio that develops the game to do it. I don't really care. As long as they talk, you know? And he's, uh, he still wants me to get rid of all these zombies. But they keep coming. So I don't know. You just gotta get rid of a bunch. Maybe only one or two around the van. Man, I'm getting full of blood here. Jesus. But uh, yeah, like, voice act this shit, you know? Like, why why'd they cheap out? But then I have to read. Like, I just want to play the game. I don't want to have to read anything. If I wanted to read, I'd sit down and read a book. Like a comic book. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look at them. They're still coming. Like, I don't know. I clear them out and they keep coming. So I, I don't know how many guys I clear out. Whatever. I want a town with a baseball bat anyway. But you can only use this so much. So let's go up and talk to this guy. Okay, he's the owner of the local pawn shop. Ha ha. Sure, I could help you get back there. Why not, dick? Uh, talk to me when you're ready to go. Okay, I'm ready to go now. Let's go. Oh, look at this guy. He jumps on the side of the... He jumps down on the side with all the zombies. Like, dick. 
What'd you have to be a dick for? Dick for? You should have jumped down off the other side of the stupid van, you retard. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's the bucket. The bucket. Oh, yeah. How do you like that? That's uh, hilarious. I mean, not very good for uh, crowd control or anything, but... <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny. All right. Talk to him. No problem. I kept you safe. Let's see. Can you give me something? Oh, you, I helped you out, but you can't just give things away for free. But you're going to give me a good deal. Gee, thanks a lot, dick. How appropriate of a name. Okay, so here's a wheel for the bike. So you got to get that. So, and the thing is, when you grab the parts for the bike, um, you can't put them in your inventory. You have to carry them. You have to have them equipped. So pretty much you got to haul ass... Uh, back to where the bike is and drop off the, the wheel. I don't even... I, I had never tried attacking with it. I'm not sure if you can or not, but... Uh, whatever. It probably wouldn't be that effective anyway. So you just gotta run back with it. Or saunter. Let's call this saunter. This looks like he's sauntering. He's kinda... He's, he's favoring... Is he favoring like his right side or whatever? He's leaning on his left? I don't know. Okay, so let's bring this back to the safe house. And drinking, there's a tip, drinking too much will make Chuck sick. Eating food will regain health, so it's good to keep some on Chuck at all times. Yes, I already covered that. Thank you very much. Okay, so bring the tire back, the wheel. And we're going to drop it off uh, right nearby the bike. Because that's, you know, where we kind of need it to be for when we assemble the bike. I don't know why we just don't put the wheel on right now, but, you know, we just drop it down there. Katie, we'll see you in a bit, okay? And we're going to go grab the sledgehammer. So we got a few weapons. we got the bat, we got the sledgehammer, and we got the bucket. <laughs> but like I said, the bucket's not very useful. Actually, we're going to go save here, too. Go to the, go take a piss and save the game. Okay. Excellent. Now where to? Let's go back out in the street and see if we can find some more bike parts. Alright, save your game by visiting a restroom. Well, we just did that. Thank you. Man, these tips have very, very good timing, don't they? Come on. Okay, time to military ride is 12 hours, 8 minutes. So, uh, seeing as uh, I've already played this a little bit through, uh, I know where some of the things are that we have, where we have to go. Not necessarily the main objectives, but side objectives, because there are some side things that you can do here in the allotted time. So we're going to go over here, and we're going to go into this, uh, that was a tavern. So let's uh, bash the zombies. Anytime you go in a building, close the door behind you. Otherwise, the zombie. I didn't. And that's the other thing. Like, if you're near other stuff, like I'm trying to hit B to close the door, but then you end up grabbing the barrel, which you know came in handy right there. But you know, I sort of wanted to close the door. Oh, so we got some survivors in here. Look at this. Hey, look, it's Gemini. You guys okay? Oh my, Fosto, Fosto. Look, another survivor. I'm Gemini. This is Fosto. We got caught in the roadblock and had to leave our Vegas winnings. <laughs> That's a shame. I can take you guys to the safe house. Oh, you'll make it worth my while. Sweet, Gemini. Let's go, baby. How about you, Fosto? Uh, he wants a beer, though. He wants... I ain't going anywhere until I get a freaking drink, man. Alright, here we go, buddy. It's not safe here. Let's go to the safe house. Oh, one more drink. I'm still too thirsty. Alright, here we go. Here's another beer. Here you go. Oh, that is disgusting. Are you ready now? Okay, 
That's good. Let's go. So you can actually, if you hit, I believe it's, uh... Actually, I'm, I'm using my PS3 controller, so it's going to be L2, which is the bottom. Of it. I don't know what you guys call it. You go. Uh, I think you have a trigger and a... Stay right there. Something else. I think it's the trigger, and then you hit... I don't know. I don't know this... Oh, hey, how about a bucket on your head? Um... I don't even know the button, there. so I'm going to say the top... The top button, which... Is triangle. <laughs> so you hit L2 and then the triangle to sort of point to where you need these guys to go because they can't really follow you. I don't know, they don't, they don't really do a good job of following you, so you just cue them up to go to run in front of you and then they end up coming with you and then we're gonna bring them over to the safe house. So it's kind of weird. Unless I'm not doing it exactly right, which I probably not, but whatever. Okay, so there, we got him in the safe house. Hey, there's the tip again. Save your game by visiting a restroom. Hmm. I guess there aren't very many tips in this game. <clears throat> oh, you can access the map by pressing back. All right, good to know, good to know. Thanks so much. Okay, so Gemini, you gonna give me some money here? Thank you. It's 38. This doesn't look too bad for 38. Okay, so we're gonna go back. Man, seriously, now you guys are beginning to understand the issue I have with the loading screens. <laughs> I'll try not to harp on it too much more <laughs> in the next few videos, but uh, I'm sure me commenting about it is as annoying is as annoying as the loading screen itself. Okay, 11 and a half hours until the military arrives. Now, see, there's this dude up there on the roof. You see him? Hey, buddy. I think it's Bob. I think his name's Bob, but I hadn't figured out how to get up there yet. And I still don't, and I th I'm thinking I, I figured it out now, actually. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. I think I come back and do it. Anyways, actually, what I'm going to go and do right now, I know where there is another bike part, so... That's where I'm going to go right now. It's, uh... I believe the engine... Actually, I'm trying to get up this way. Onto the roof. Because there's the stairs there. But you'll see later, probably in, an, uh, in the next video, that I actually make it up there. So I'm actually trying to gr jump on this dumpster. And then jump over to the stairs. But, yeah. Don't make it. Okay, let's try it again. Come on, Chuck. No, no, don't attack the dumpster. Climb on top of it. <laughs> and fail. And I actually tried to see if we can move the dumpster, because, I mean, they do have wheels, but apparently... I mean, we're MacGyver to build, you know, build the bike or repair the bike and whatever, but I can't move a uh, wheels uh, dumpster with wheels on it. All right, it's a movie theater. Some dudes, I think they're probably watching a movie. I don't know what movie they're watching. What's out right now, guys? Hey, what's playing? And you actually, uh, there's another uh, arcade slash casino. Actually, it's not an arcade. It is a casino. <laughs> it's a small, very, very small casino. Uh, near where the uh, the dude is on the roof. And you get a bunch of coin from that. So you just smash all the... Uh, smash all the machines here. And... Um, they actually respawn. The slot machines do respawn later. <laughs> so he can do it multiple times. And as I mentioned before, in this uh, game, the prequel to Dead Rising 2, you can level up to level 5. And that your character will actually carry over into Dead Rising 2, the leveled up character. There's another bee. So we're going to destroy it. But Oh yeah, there's a couple zombies that... Uh, Oh, nice. One right there, too. Oh, their heads are, are gone. Excellent. Okay, so there's the engine. Nice! We got two out of five parts. And that's it. We're uh, we're at the end of this video. Uh, second video in our series on uh, Dead Rising 2. What is it? Code Zero? Operation Zero? Oh, Outpatient Zero? I don't know. Anyways, that's it. We'll have more for you guys for nextgentactics.com. I'm Spider Bite and I'm out.